Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm excited to share with you a rather large haul that just kind of came together quite quickly. Uh, some of it is PR, some I purchased. Most of it, I think, is PR, some I purchased. But anyway, uh, I'm really excited to share these with you. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And if you already are a part of the community, thank you so much for your ongoing support. You guys are amazing. You know you're amazing too. And without further ado, let's get into this. So the first uh, was a company named Chez Pierre that reached out to me. Now, I believe these are crafted in Serbia and it's a dupe house. And I was really, really impressed. Like I was like, oh, not sure at first. Uh, they've got tons of offerings. They sent me three. So they sent me Wellspring, which is the inspired version of Plum Japanese by Tom Ford, which I believe is discontinued. Uh, so I don't remember. I think I did smell Plum Japanese at one point, but I don't really remember. This is a beautiful smelling fragrance, beautiful quality, was really impressed. Uh, sometimes I find with dupe houses, there's a weird DNA that just doesn't sit well with me. Uh, I didn't find that with these ones. So I was really, really pleasantly surprised. Uh, what surprises me the most is look at that atomizer. Like it just disperses, like I can see the fragrance in the air. It disperses the fragrance. So amazing. I rarely see an atomizer like that on any bottle, even niche high-end bottles don't have a beautiful atomizer like this. So I am so freaking blown away by the atomizer on these. Um, yeah, just so, so impressed. The, the closest uh, to being as great of an atomizer would be the K Alley ones. Like the K Alley has those shh, and it just kind of sprays beautifully. I'm so impressed. As far as the fragrance is concerned, I've never, like I said, I don't know how close it is to Plum Japanese, uh, but if that is a scent that you like, I was really impressed with the quality. It comes across kind of like a green plum uh, with some woodiness. So really interesting fragrance, really excited to wear it, honestly. Next fragrance they sent me was Fiction, which is uh, the inspired version of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I think these two are, are two of his um, biggest sellers. Again, really impressed at, at, from smelling the original Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Uh, this one is really, really, really close. The only thing that differs the two is this one lasts longer. So this one, you're still getting that woodiness in. Sometimes you're getting more of the top note than the, the bottom note. Uh, in dupes, this one is really, really, uh, really bang on, I think. Like I was, I honestly was impressed and I'm pretty hard on dupe companies. Uh, so if you're looking for a great uh, dupe of Lost Cherry, this one's amazing and that atomizer is just killer. Last fragrance that they sent me is called Spring Flower. Uh, and this is the inspired version of, I believe, Gucci Bloom. So Gucci Bloom isn't my favorite scent profile. So this one uh, is a bit of a miss for me because uh, it's so, so floral. That said, I almost bought Glu Gucci Bloom at one point because I was kind of digging the florals. So I think I have to be in the mood for this one. Uh, again, longevity, really, really impressive. Uh, so overall, I'm really, I'm really impressed with this dupe house. Uh, that atomizer sold it for me. I just was so impressed with it. The bottle is quite simple, but still classy. Um, yeah, I was, I was impressed with these. I can't remember how they translate price wise, but I will leave their, uh, I'll leave their information linked down below for you to check out. Uh, seriously, like, um, I think my favorite, my favorite experiences with uh, inspiration houses, honestly, uh, is Be Layered. I really love Be Layered. Juliana's perfumes, they're nice, but there's a quality in there that kind of, kind of bothers me. Uh, Okcha, I've had hits and misses. I, I think with all inspired houses, I have. I've tried Dua, I've tried Perfume Parlor, I've tried quite a few. Uh, but this one, I really am impressed with. So 
really, really, I was really, really excited to try these. So I'll leave it there for you to check out. I'd never heard of them before. Uh, but yeah, like that, that atomizer, that's a high quality atomizer, man. Yes, I love a high quality atomizer. Who'd have thunk it? I didn't even know I liked atomizers, but that one was amazing. Next fragrance uh, was again PR and it was, it's called Hue and it's a celebrity fragrance by Hailey Kiyoko. This fragrance, it's, it's kind of fruity on the top. It's fruity on the top. I think there's pomegranate in this and then it kind of dries down to kind of a cacao vanilla. Uh, not overly long lasting, kind of your typical celebrity fragrance, but it was really cool to try it out. Next, I received a package from Commodity. So I have their exploration kit, which I'm really excited to go through and talk about. Really, really cool. Uh, and then they were kind enough to send me Milk Plus. Yay! So really excited to have these. Next, I was excited uh, while I was in Calgary. Uh, Senyata and I went to a really cool perfume store called Parfum Galerie. It's located in Bankers Hall in Calgary. And so I want to show you the store and you can come along and kind of experience the store. There were two lovely uh, salespeople there, Rima and Shashi. Uh, they were just so helpful. They took us through the store. We got to experience it. They were such nice people. I'm going to share a little bit of the experience of the store so you can kind of get the vibe. Uh, if you live in Calgary, you're really lucky to have this store. So I'm here at Perfume Gallery and just met some lovely ladies that work here. And we were looking at the Michael Malul fragrances as well as a new brand from Ireland called... What's this brand called? Scopoli. It's called Scopoli. So I got to smell these four fragrances, which was really cool. And then the Michael Malul fragrances, which was really neat as well. So they have a bunch of these Michael Maluls, like a ton of them. Out of these ones, I really enjoyed this one. It's called Siesta Key. Key. Yeah. That was super fruity and delicious. And then I really liked this Citizen Jack one, like super kind of tobacco, a little bit boozy. And then this one, this is my coffee. Uh, this one here, it was really grapefruity, but I just think that bottle is so funky. So, so cool. But the line that I was most intrigued by is this line down here, which is by, oh yeah. Okay. There we go. So these are from uh, a, an Ireland company. And so I'm gonna review all of them so that you guys can know all about them. This was a little company uh, that's right out of Calgary which is pretty cool. It's always neat to see independent perfumers. So yeah, Calgary, Alberta. Thank you for taking your time and coming to our store. I just can't believe it. Thank happened. you for having us. So uh, you were gonna share one of the yes. ones that's kind of special over I'm here. I'm just gonna share the special edition of Ferragamo. It's the Amo Ferragamo, it is the special edition. It is absolutely a gorgeous bottle. The so what's, what does the bottle look like? Uh, it's the same color, the so indigo, kind of the purpley blue. In, yes, the indigo color bottle. It has the same Ferragamo cap with the diamonds, but just that it's a bit prettier than this. And when did this come out? Just last year. Oh, really? And we are the only ones, actually, in the whole country, there are only two bottles left. Really? And we are the ones that have. Oh, it. so it was like special, special, special edition. Special, special edition. Yes. No more are being produced. So that's cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's really smell it. Yes, of so course. So it's right here? It's right here. Okay, and so what do you think of it? What, what, I think it's gorgeous. I like it's absolutely, and it's, Am it's Amo Ferragamo Special Edition. Absolutely. So it's kind of complex, sweet, yes, yes, a little bit more, syrupy. Yeah, a little bit more oriental. It's just gorgeous. It sits so well on the skin. So what is it that you love about it? Like what? I love it that it has so much of depth to it. Okay. It's, it's just not like any of the other ordinary fragrances. It's just, it's just very unique. And that's what I really love about it. Cool. What's in there? Do you know? Yes, I do. It has, it has a little bit of amber to it. Okay. It has some violet in it. And 
What, do you know what the fruity note is off off the cuff? Like it smells like there might be raspberry in it or something. I think so. It's definitely it's definitely fruity. It's I think really it's, pretty. Yeah. Do you yeah, know how long lasting it is? Berries. Eight to ten hours. At oh, least. okay. Yeah. yeah, it's gorgeous. So if you guys want to get it, you have to get it from here. <laughs> There's only two bottles left. So I was really intrigued by the Scopoli line, uh, just uh, just their whole vibe, the, uh, partially because they're made in Dublin. <laughs> Dublin, Ireland, and I just have an absolute fascination with Dublin. So I decided to go with the Discovery Kit just so I could uh, give you guys a whole entire rundown on the line, but I've got to show you this because I think it's so amazing. So this I purchased myself. Um, so this is what it looks like, just a regular brown box, but you open it up and here's the fragrances. So the fragrances are in a block of wood or cork. I think it might, no, it's wood. So I just thought that was such a neat presentation for a discovery kit. They have this little uh, fold out card uh, really cute, uh, some artwork on there and then all the notes written on there. So I'm really getting into discovery kits lately. I just think they're such a great idea and really, really excited that it was a, a, a perfumer from Ireland. Like I just found that intriguing, thought the bottles were intriguing. The website's cool. I'll leave it all linked down below. Uh, I'll also leave uh, Parfum Galleries information. They ship, I believe, all over Canada, at least maybe into the States, uh, but they have some fragrances that aren't found anywhere else. Uh, including Michael Malul. So you saw on the video, uh, there are many Michael Malul fragrances and she was kind enough to gift this to me, which I thought was very, very generous of her because uh, she heard me talking about the bottle and I thought it was the coolest bottle. Like it's so pretty, like, very, very neat bottle. So I'm excited to have this one. This is kind of just a fresh, light citrus fragrance. I'll do a, a larger review at some point on them. Uh, what I found about the Michael Malul, like so the Scapoli fragrances, those are definitely niche. And so Sonetta and I ended up talking about how um, some fragrances, they're more niche. Uh, so they're a little bit different. They may be challenging for someone that just strictly enjoys designer fragrances. Uh, they may have a little bit more complexity to them. They may not. Uh, but some of the niche and some of the niche are way less mass appealing. So they're more of an experience than they are just uh, wearing a fragrance to smell good. There's a whole experience that goes along with it that may be not everybody's cup of tea. More and more I'm finding I, I really enjoy experiencing odd fragrances uh, because I appreciate the artistry in them. So, so Scapoli would fall into that category whereas Michael Malul is much more mass appealing. Uh, some of their darker fragrances that are for men, uh, I'd heard about and I smelt them. They were really delicious. Loved the way they smelt. Uh, there was one fragrance there that I really, really enjoyed from Michael Malul, but all of them are more designer feel. So from the men to the women, they smell like a designer. So they smell mass appealing. They're very nice fragrances, but they're they're not niche smelling, if that makes sense. So they're more designer smelling. So for a niche house, they smell more designer. So they're more mass appealing, definitely, and definitely worth checking out. And she had a huge range. I think you can order online from her. So definitely check out her site. She definitely has a wide range of primarily designer, but also some really cool niche fragrances that you don't find uh, in many places. She's got a huge uh, collection of Serge Luton's too. So uh, definitely if you're in the area, check them out, go in person, uh, meet them. Feel free to check them out online because they do ship as well. So anyway, really impressed with the shop, really impressed with uh, just the service. They were very, very wonderful. And moving on to my last two amazing things. So I've kind of saved the best for last. Uh, I've got two more things for you. The first is uh, Melig Perfumes. I have a sample set here. Now, I spent a lot of time talking with Matthew Melig just about perfume in general. 
It's kind of more of a geek out video where we're talking perfume, uh, talking notes, talking about experience with the notes and that sort of thing. So I'm going to make that into bonus videos if you're interested. I find him just a wealth of knowledge. Very, very interesting. Uh, really nice guy too. So the, the thing I'll say about Matthew Mellick that I was really impressed with is uh, he's willing to share his knowledge um, and he's he's excited when other people succeed. And so that to me shows a quality individual. I really love his creative process as well. There's a bunch of little fragrances in here. I love the packaging for this discovery kit. I just think it's really cute. Uh, a little bit minimal, but cute. Uh, there was a few standouts. He's got some Atar oils in here, uh, which on the other videos uh, will kind of explain how they work. So out of all the fragrances, there's one I don't think I got. Uh, well, first of all, I love Golden Guy. It's kind of like a apricot tobacco fragrance, uber sexy. Like I, I love it, like kind of boozy. It's amazing. So love Golden Guy. I've got Very Cherry Chocolate Patchouli. Love that one. Um, the two fragrances that really stood out for me, um, I don't have the one sample. I think he called it Detura the Moonflower. So the bottle, I'll leave a picture of the bottle. The bottle is exquisite. Like I just love that. I think it's called a death moth, but it's so beautiful etched in the glass. Um, and the, the fragrance is of the Detura flower. Very interesting, beautiful fragrance. Um, the Datura flower is uh, a very poisonous flower, I believe, uh, that only blooms at night. So it's just kind of a neat fragrance. Datura sometimes is put in fragrances that makes it smell a little bit summery, like it gives a summery vibe somehow. Datura is kind of a neat note, but just the presentation of that bottle and smelling it on the skin was really, really cool. But the one that I do have that I'm absolutely in love with, like is scent as a language and this is a sugary passion fruit fragrance that i am absolutely in love with it has passion fruit and mandarin and you definitely get that juicy juicy pa passion fruit it's got ylang ylang plumeria and jasmine sambuc for florals Primarily, I just get that delicious passion fruit, but there's a little bit more depth to it than just a fruity fragrance. And then the base is cashmere and cotton candy. It's super sweet, mouth-watering, delicious. Like seriously, my mouth waters the whole entire time and it's so fun to wear. Like I just really, really have enjoyed my sample. Like I'm gonna use it up in no time at all. So anyway, love that fragrance. But the whole experience of just meeting Matthew Mellig and chatting with him, like I said, there'll be videos to come. Uh, it was really, really interesting. I love the kind of intricacies of perfumery. Uh, I love smelling them, but I also love learning about perfumes. So it was really interesting talking to him. Moving on to the most exciting thing. So uh, a while back, I went to Vancouver and uh, Sonata and I were talking about like creating a fragrance. Here's the clip of her talking and me receiving it. Hello, good people. Um, it's Sonata of Untamed Perfumes. I have traveled from Vancouver here to Calgary, uh, and I am meeting Maria. Uh, she's driving down from Edmonton. We're having a weekend together. What she doesn't know is, um, well, a while back, we did a segment on her channel talking about uh, writing a perfume brief. And she had this great idea. It, it, it was about a pirate and I, I'm sure some of you have watched it and you will remember. It was a pirate theme. She wanted a perfume that was spicy and boozy and jammy rosy. Anyways, what she doesn't know is I've been working on this perfume and um, it's ready. It's ready, here it is. And one of you on the channel uh, named it, uh, suggested the name Besmara, which means the pirate queen, how fitting. So I can't wait for her to um, to check it out. I think she's gonna be really surprised and I'm hoping to get her reaction when she walks in the door. Okay, stay tuned. We will see Maria soon. Okay, bye all. So your uh, audience will have a precursor to what's about to happen. <laughs> 
Good. Love the name. <laughs> it's a homemade label. <laughs> <laughs> now this could go really well or it could go south. Okay, so I get to put it on. Yes. Can I smell that? No, I'm just going to put it straight on. I'm so excited. What's it called? It's called Basmara. <laughs> the, Basmara. The Pirate Queen. I love it. Mmm. <laughs> <sighs> it's quite citrusy. Is, Is there citrus in there? Blackberry. There's a little oh, orange. There's a tiny bit of orange. Mm. It it just morphed. We don't know. You know, it's yeah. it's a it's I love the blackberry. It smelled citrusy to me, but it must be the orange. It's a little bit of orange. That's beautiful. There's balsams in it. There's yeah. Russian leather. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see how it develops. It's not what I would have anticipated, but I think it's better. <laughs> and the sweetness is coming out uh -huh. now. Oh. Now, did you put rum in it? I'm curious. I, Cause I have to, you know what? I don't remember the formula I've had, but I think there might be whiskey in it. Well, because when we were talking yeah. and then we started making it, yeah. that was some of the comments was, yeah. I thought there'd be rum in it or is it like some sort of... I think there's whiskey. I have to look. There are so That's many things beautiful. in this formula that I don't remember it offhand. Oh yeah, it's I fun. love it. Yeah, and it's it's again it's unisex, but to me this one leans a little feminine. Yeah, for sure. Which I love. Uh -huh. It's really beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, that's one bottle. I don't think I'm ever making it again. So enjoy. <laughs> wow! Happy birthday, Merry Christmas! Thank you. <laughs> I love it. All right. <laughs> Let me smell that thing. All right. My own oh, personal yeah. scent. All right. This is my, the pirate queen now has her signature scent. Yeah. How does it go on? Yeah. You oh, either way. It. Yeah, yeah. It goes on. Clip it hard. Thank you so much. You're welcome Sonia. so much. I love it. And it's even got a, it's got a ship on it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. And we'll have to thank your um, viewer for the name. I know. That's yeah. Mara. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. So first of all, I want to thank uh, Sonetta for creating this fragrance for me. It was really, really special to be able to receive it. Um, I really enjoy uh, her as a human being. She's just one of the most warm, generous people. Uh, I love meeting other creative women. Like that's always so cool. Uh, but she's just, uh, she just truly is a very genuinely kind, generous, uh, wonderful person. And so I'm, I really feel thankful to have met her. Uh, but to be given uh, my own little, my own little bottle of Besmera. I also want to thank Deidre Fisher. She's one of the subscribers that left um, some title ideas for the fragrance and we went with Besmera. Uh, so that's the Pirate Queen. Whoa! <laughs> like I just love the fact that it's a Pirate Queen fragrance. Now the fragrance uh, to me, oh, it's boozy. She put like, okay, so when I was in Vancouver, she had this Blackberry Accord that I literally fell in love with, like craved it. When I left Vancouver, like I had it on a card. When I left Vancouver, I just kept sniffing that Blackberry Accord because it was so delicious uh, and just loved it. And so um, I didn't know that she would put it in here, but it is probably the most delicious blackberry smell I've ever smelled. It smells rich. It smells mouthwatering. It's decadent. Uh, and it's definitely present throughout the wear of the fragrance. The notes in this fragrance are crazy. So I'm going to read them to you. Uh, the top is blood orange, green mandarin, apricot, black pepper, cinnamon, clove, allspice. All my favorite heart is blackberry rose in immortal. And then the base is tobacco, vanilla, amber, burnt sugar, whiskey, Russian leather, oakwood, Peru balsam, and myrrh. So definitely uh, I get a little bit of booziness to this. The, the Blackberry Accord to me, honestly, is a little bit boozy feeling. Uh, so that is kind of the star of the show. I get the rose. Uh, it's definitely more fruity than I was anticipating. 
uh, but I'm in love with it. Like it's so fun to wear when I smell it. My mouth just waters. Like when you first put it on, you get kind of those spices, but then as those meld in uh, to that blackberry accord with the rose, like it's so scrumptious. Like seriously, I'm in love with this. And, and what was hilarious was I wore it. Uh, I wore it this one day, Sunyata and I went to Banff. Uh, and then the next day it was still on my sweater. And so uh, we were just about to leave and she went, you smell amazing. What are you wearing? And I said, I'm wearing my fragrance. And it was this one. So she gave me a compliment <laughs> on this fragrance, not knowing what it was. And so, yeah, lasts a long, long time on the skin. Uh, I love it. I love this tiny little cube-like bottle. So uh, currently this is not available for public consumption. This is just my little happy present. Uh, so I've got my own signature scent. I'm just so, so pleased. So thank you, Sunyata, uh, for making this for me. I am so, so excited to have this fragrance. Just absolutely love it. Like, uh, why, like why do I even need to ever buy another fragrance in my life when I have my own fragrance. <laughs> so yeah, so excited. Thank you again to Deidre Fisher for the creative name. Uh, very, very cool. And I don't know, like if there was enough interest, maybe I could convince her to um, make this, like make some travel sprays or something. Uh, I'm not sure because that's a lot of work. So uh, anyway, I just had to share that with you. I thought it was so nice. The thing about Sunyata's fragrances, uh, even before I met her, when I smelt them, there's something about her fragrances that move me. So, you know, when you connect to an artist, uh, whether it be a painter, a musician, a perfumer, uh, these are all different f forms of art, a writer, a poet, uh, a musician, there, there's some that we connect with on a, a little bit of a deeper level, a heart level, uh, and their, their creation, their creations move us in some capacity. And for me, Sunyata's creations move me. Uh, they usually make me tear up uh, when I first smell them. There's something really special about them. Uh, and that was prior to meeting her. Uh, now that I have met her, they're even that much more special because I know uh, the care that she puts into making a fragrance, the time that she takes, the thoughtfulness. I just really appreciate her. So anyway, thank you so much, Sunyata. This is just such a beautiful little treasure and I will treasure it, except I will use it. Uh, but I will treasure it. <laughs> And that is it. Uh, overall, such a fun haul. Uh, so excited to share all of these with you as time goes on. And what about you? Have you gotten something new yet? Uh, if you have, let me know what it is. And I will leave everything linked down below that's linkable, including Parfum Gallery, so that you can check out her website. Uh, such a nice person. Had such a great time uh, with Matthew and Sunyata. Just getting to know them and shopping for perfumes and checking out the stores is always fun to me. So that is it for me today. I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.